New developments in a five-year-old murder case out of Cathedral City. Two arrests have been made. Ramon Diaz was shot and killed in front of his Cathedral City home in March of 2018. The 47-year-old was a well-known martial arts instructor here in the Valley. Today, a big break. Cathedral City Police arresting two people in connection with the murder. 48-year-old Kipko Griffin on the left and 44-year-old Troy Walter Edmond on the right. Both are being held on $1 million bail. Tonight, News Channel 3's Samantha Lumibau is live at the Cathedral City Police Department with up-to-the-minute developments and reaction from one of Diaz's close friends. Samantha. John, it was a case that was believed to have gone cold to now having two suspects behind bars. For loved ones, it's a big step in the right direction, but now they're asking why this happened to Diaz in the first place. He was everybody's friend, everybody's big brother. He was like my big brother. Described as a pillar in this community, Ramon Diaz was a beloved instructor who inspired many through jiu-jitsu. Carrie Ann Carrillo tells me she met Diaz in 2005, which led to the start of her martial arts journey at his Palm Springs dojo. You know, when Ramon opened up that school, it was the greatest thing. Jiu-jitsu was his life. It was, he made it our lives. Um, he made everybody enjoy it. He made everybody love it. Diaz was committed to his students. But his life was cut short on the night of March 28th, 2018. He said, Ramon was shot. And I said, what? What? It's like I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I said, what are you, what are you talking about? Cathedral City Police arrived at Diaz's home, where he had been shot in his driveway and later died at the hospital. I collapsed in my hallway and I couldn't believe what I heard. I heard the other line, the person on the other side of the phone saying he's gone. And I, it's like a... It was like a bad dream. I was awake, but it was like, this can't be happening. There's no way. I just heard that Ramon's gone. Diaz's murder left the community searching for answers. Now more than five years later, two suspects arrested. A big break in the case, but Carrillo says she needs to know more. The biggest thing people want to know, why, why, did, why did this guy get robbed of his life? You know, he did so many good things for so many people. You know, he, you know, and just to have him taken away for, for what... People just consider nothing is, uh, is hard to deal with. His life taken at just 47 years old, but it's his impact that will last forever. He turned a lot of like lost souls around that came into his school that had nothing left to, to live for. Um, you know, so he's he'll never be forgotten. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu will always, always remind us of him. A heartbreaking case. The suspects are expected to be arraigned this Thursday. Now, we are sharing the name and photo of these suspects despite not being charged by the district attorney's office yet because this is such a high-profile case we've been following for years. And, of course, stay with News Channel 3 for updates on this developing story. Live in Cathedral City, Samantha Mebao, News Channel 3.